Okay, this is the corner of Bears in Nebraska. And I'm gonna try and show you the new Walmart. It's all the way back there. And here it's gonna be coming a new gas station, a Wawa. <laughs> Those are the new gas stations here. <laughs> and there's the entrance to the Walmart. There it is. There's a sign. And now we're headed on. Where are we going? Oh, we're going to this thing again, still, to the pawn shop, but this is good old Tampa. Big old cloud above us. And it's pretty rainy. It's not as bad as it was yesterday or the day before. <laughs> but it's got some rain again. Okay, we're back again and now it's Wednesday morning. We've forgotten to do why don't you go over what we did yesterday? Any vlogs. Yesterday we after we went looking for the tools. We went and saw Louie's cousin Kelly and her baby. She just had a baby. And we took a few pictures of him. And he's so cute. And we Oops, met her boyfriend, Fletcher, John, yeah. And then after that we ate some Chinese food because we haven't we hadn't even had the chance to eat any Chinese food. <laughs> and it was really good. <laughs> The noodles are really good too. Oh, the lo mein. The lo mein. That was delicious. First time having it for me. It was. I liked it a lot. Now I got a new favorite of the Chinese restaurants. Yeah, and then um, after that we headed to Clearwater, which was a long drive, and there was a lot of traffic. And that's just yeah. normal Tampa traffic, though. Oh it's a God. lot for us. <laughs> yeah, and then um, sorry about the bumping. It's like every time we hit like a bump. I bumped the camera on the windshield because I don't have that much range. Okay, I think that's better. Um, so then we went over to Clearwater where, where Louis' aunt Isabel lives and his uncle Manny and cousin John. Well, he's there now, but well, he lives in Michigan. Yeah. And then we went and visited with them and then came back home really late. Well, not that late, but it was, it was late. And um, today we just forgot everything. We forgot the other memory card for the DSLR. Forgot my earrings, just forgot everything. We already left. And we're on our way to get some beans. Beans will make her dance. And some other stuff that we want to get at the, at the meat market because we don't, we don't have the stuff they do over there. Because we're tropical. And New Mexico is not very tropical. Yeah. And so we gotta get it here while we're in the <laughs> tropics of Florida. Yeah, and um after that what are we gonna do? We're probably gonna go well, we're shop gonna go, around. Yeah, go a little do a little shopping. And go to the medieval times tonight for dinner. Oh yeah, we're going to medieval times. I wanna call my sister up and see if she's gonna go. And I guess we'll try to remember this and we'll keep the camera out like on hand because we always forget and it's like well that could have been a really good interesting thing to go on the blog or you know add our families in there like you just never know but we'll try to keep it in mind this time because we just pretty much suck at it <laughs> <laughs> We'll get better and do more. We, we we are new to this, so yeah, it'll be all right. Okay. All right, so we're here at the meat market. We're gonna get some beans. This is what we were just talking about. The beans that we're gonna get that aren't really available to us elsewhere. And oh my gosh, look at that <laughs> guava paste. This is the stuff you find down here. Nowhere else. Arroz con leche, the good stuff. Here in the Spanish meat market. Oh lord, it's delicious. But anyways, 
we're gonna get some beans they sell the really good beans here that we like to cook real delicious flavors they got lots of stuff look at this this is stuff we don't have back home Malta Hatui well Hatui is just the brand but these are the Maltas you know what I'm actually gonna take me some and look see non-alcoholic cereal beverage it's made from barley malt and basically sugar and coloring delicious give me some it's my favorite type right there okay. see these are the beans right here they say Central America and American beans yep but those I are the good know. ones that we like maybe other people like different beans but we like those so we're gonna do that, and there's the rest of the meat market down that way. And we're just gonna do a little bit more shopping, and we'll be back with you in a minute. So we got our beans. This is all our bags, and we just spent seventy-five dollars. <laughs> well, we bought some chia seeds. Here, are the chia, or these are this is the Jamaica drink, the hibiscus flower, and then we got the chia seeds we got in California, but. We haven't oh, been able to, to find them over there. Oh, well. Huh? We're supposed to go to the health food store to check that out. Where at? Okay, so we're on our way again. On the road again. That was easy. Okay, we're back here. We're here at this place called. I don't know if I can get that in there. It's called Tampa Humidor and it's a six cigar place so we're gonna go inside and check it out this is a cigar shop there's different kinds of things here we just wanted to check it out and here we have where all the cigars are <laughs> There's tons from probably all over the world, huh, babe? Yep. This is so cool. I wonder if there's any Honduran ones. Yeah, there's a Nicaraguan right here. Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. How do you know? Oh, there you go. Look at that. Cool. Do you think they have Cuban cigars? No. <laughs> and it pretty much goes all the way back out there. There's tons here. Huh? These are from Nicaragua too. From Esteli. We have to get that for my dad, babe. These are from Esteli. That is so cool. See, that's the other section of it. We have these one, two, three. These are Nicaraguan too. Good company, good food. Yep. That's what we're looking forward to. <laughs> okay. See y'all later. Alrighty, we made it here to the castle. And there's the crests for some of the knights. They got some of the flags up top. Behind these bushes, there's the moat, but you can't really see it. They already got the fires blaring ready to go there's the moat for the entrance 
All right. Well, I'm going to stop recording for a moment because we're going to take a photo. Okay, here we are. They just um, tooted the horn <laughs> to go inside. It's already 6.45 and we're headed inside the castle. There's a lot of people. It's a long line. But I think we could get pretty good seating. So far we went back there to the medieval village. And Louis didn't record any of it. But we'll go back and record. But it was pretty nice. Like, oh, I smell the chicken bacon already. <laughs> So here we go. We got the blue knight. Can I we got our, this? our blue crown. No. <laughs> I'm going back to the dungeon area. The dungeon area. This isn't the dungeon area. Is that what you asked him? Can we go back to the dungeon? No, to the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why did I think of a dungeon? I don't know. A dungeon. Because you think of a dungeon. I think of a dungeon. Yeah, well, this is the way we entered in the beginning. To the dungeon. Look how pretty this little plant is on the trellis. Lattice. lattice or trellis? trellis? Whatever. Trellis, lattice. And the well, the wishing well. Well. No, it's a wishing well. Oh my god, it goes all the way down. Oh, it does. Oh, this is to the dungeon. Charcoal burning to me. <laughs> Here we are, and this is the barn. And in our head we have the torture chamber. This is the dungeon. It's in the Oh no, really? Why? The salt? Salt people don't have. They probably put this around the neck, huh? Interrogation chair. Oh man. This is neck breaker, a primitive form of guillotine. Oh lord. The girl. Hanging cage. 